Brush up your Shakespeare. Start quoting him now. Brush up your Shakespeare. And no women, you will wow. Just declaim a few lines from Otella. And they'll think you're a hell of a fella. If your blonde won't respond when you flatter so I cannot tell what you and other men think of this life, but for my single self, I as lief not be as live to be in all of such days and times. I so was full of free and like and So were you. you well, to one and and we both had fed all of us. We both had to endure the winds cold as well as the walking pity drawn upon our own empty day. Our spirit was drawn to the fire and the shape of the world by a side of the pond. Or she was in the dull and sleeping out. Crew of patches, rude mechanicals, bread upon female stalls, met together to rehearse a play. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft interred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. What cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not but upon his spongy officers who shall bear the guilt of our great quell? I have of late, boyfriend or not, lost all my mirth, forgotten all custom exercises. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand. Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. My true love's passion therefore pardons me, and not impute this yielding to light love which the dark night has so discovered. So she is one of this confederacy. Mm. <laughs> oh, 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 wash your hands, put on your nightgown, to bed, to bed, there's knocking at the gate. More onto the bridge, dear friends, once more, or close the wall up with our English dead. A fool, a fool, I met a fool in the forest, a motley fool. A miserable world. As I do live by food, I met a fool. But we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he that sheds his blood with me today shall be my brother. Great ill disposed and brawled ridiculous the name of Agincourt. Yet sit and see, minding two things by what their mockeries be. But Romeo may not. Yeah. He is banished. Yeah. Flies may do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How all occasions do inform against me and spur my dull revenge. What is a man who is chief good and market of his time be put to sleep and feed? A beast. No more. Brush up your Shakespeare. Start quoting him now. I pray thee bear my former answer back. Bid them achieve me and then sell my bones. Good God, why should they mock poor fellows thus? The man that once did sell the lion's skin while the beast lived was killed with hunting us. What's he that wishes so? What? My cousin, Westmoreland. Okay. Romans, countrymen, and lovers, hear me for my cause and be silent that you may hear. Believe me for my honor and have respect to my honor that you may believe. O oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention, a kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. And to that dauntless temper of his mind, he hath a wisdom that doth guide his valor to act in safety. There's none but he whose being I do fear, and under him my genius is rebuked. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. I see no more in you than in the ordinary of nature's sale work. Odd to my little life, I think she means to tangle my eyes too. No, faith, proud mistress, hope not after it. Tis not your inky brow, your black silk hair, your bugle eyeballs, nor your cheek of cream that can entail my spirits to your worship. You foolish shepherd, wherefore do you follow her, like foggy south puffing with wind and rain? 
O oh, pardon me, thou bleeding piece of earth, that I am meek and gentle with these butchers. Thou art the ruins of the noblest man that ever lived in tide of times. Woe to the hand that shed this costly blood. Besides, this Duncan hath borne his faculties so meek, hath been so clear in his great office, that his virtue shall plead like angels, trumpet-tongued, against the deep damnation of his taking off. In faith, I will. Let me peruse this face. Brush up your Shakespeare, and no women you will wow. Farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. I have a faint cold fear thrills through my veins that almost freezes up the heat of life. Why? What an ass am I? This is most brave that I, the son of a dear father murdered, prompted to my revenge by heaven and hell, and must like a whore unpack my heart with words and fall a cursing like a very drab. Oh, that this too too solid flesh would melt, thaw and resolve itself into our dew. I will weep for thee, for this revolt of thine, methinks, is like another fall of man. Their faults are open, arrest them to the answer of the law. Judge, O oh you gods, how dearly Caesar loved him. This was the most unkindest cut of all. For when the noble Caesar saw him stab, ingratitude, more strong than traitor's arms, quite vanquished him. I was born free as Caesar. So were you. We both have fed as well. We both can endure the winter's cold as well as he. Think not I love him, though I ask for him. Tis but a peevish boy, yet he talks well. But what care I for words? Yet words do well when he speaks and pleases those that hear. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether well, it's this nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of our righteous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing end them? You draw me, you hard-hearted adamant, but yet you not draw iron, for my heart is as true as steel. Oh, my lord, my lord, I have been so frightened. My lord, as I was sewing in my closet, Lord Hamlet, with his doublet all embraced, now had upon his head his stockings foul. But Romeo may not, he's banished. Flies may do this, but I from this must fly. They are freemen, but I am banished. And sayest thou yet that exile is not death? How happy some are here, others some can be. Through Athens I am thought as fair as she. But what of that? Demetrius thinks not so. We are glad the Dauphin is so pleasant with us. His present and your pains we thank you for. Once we have matched our rackets to these balls, we will in France, by God's grace, play a set. When I did him at his advantage take, an ass's knoll I fixed on his head. And they'll all cow tow for suit. And they'll all cow tow. Thinks thou, and they'll all cow tow. We trow and they'll all